These advances together are going to take us to the end of cancer. And the work that these people are doing is going to determine when that day is. It's going to take a team effort. It's going to take scientists and technologists and surgeons and medical oncologists and geneticists working together with all of you to make that happen. St. John's Health Center is a unique community hospital providing the best patient-centric care while training the next generation of surgical oncologists and offering world-renowned research. We are in the midst of an epidemic of early onset colon cancer. We've identified specific markers within young people with colon cancer. Well, what if we didn't look for big genes and markers? What if we looked for tiny little proteins that established a pattern in the urine and the blood and the tissue and said that could show us something? And they did it. No other place found those same markers. Every institute in this entire country, no one found the same pattern that tell us this patient has cancer. Patient-focused research is actually trying to figure out what benefits a particular patient. And again, you need dedicated physicians. No one is average. It doesn't quite work that way. And yet that's the standard way of vetting health technologies. You can actually come up with insights that benefit the patient in real time. It's representative of what we do here at St. John's. True translational medicine from excellence in clinical care to delivering the promise of precision medicine through basic science research and clinical trials. Just yesterday, I was on a series of calls with people from the FDA advocating for these more patient-focused research efforts. We could set precedents for the rest of the world. We can look at patterns and signatures to say cells from tumors that are floating around in the blood. We can distinguish that from your own normal cells and say not only is there a cancer, but this is where the cancer is coming from. And then be able to target that. The FDA is going to convene a group. I'm going to lead this effort to see what we can do in this space to advocate for these trials. So it really distinguishes us as this relatively small institution with the power to leverage not only the, the engagement of our patients, the strength of our research, but our ability to move the dial and be able to find answers that everyone is looking for. And how exciting is that, that we're gonna be able to say one day that due to this amazing philanthropic community that's associated with St. John's, we were able to find a cure for cancer. And we thank you for being a part of that moving forward because we will find a cure for cancer here at St. John's. Thank you.